So this is my review for episode 323 of Shuiden. Now this episode ends the same way the last episode ended, and that is with Madara using the wood style jutsu on Naruto as well as everybody else. And as I expected, the Nine Tails offered to give his chakra to Naruto. And the reason he gave was because as much as he doesn't like putting up with Naruto, he'd rather deal with Naruto than Madara. And Naruto had a kind of positive or surprise kind of look on his face. And one thing I was supposed to see is that he actually ended up taking all of his chakra just to stop that attack and everything. He ended up doing multi-shadow clone jutsu, having a bunch of big giant Rasengans, and it took every last bit just to stop that attack. And as he's worn out and everything, the old man tries to get up and everything, and tries to get up and tries to attack and everything, and he says the reason is because, you know, he finally has a strong enough opponent, you know, and this is a true way to test his strength and everything. And we end up getting a little bit of a flashback of some things, you know, in his past. And right before then, that's when, you know, uh, Gar said, you know, I'll help you redeem yourself. And, you know, and then someone on the side was like, hold on, I thought, you know, the elderly didn't like accepting help from the younger folks. And then the old man was like, well, this time I'll make an exception and everything. And we started getting a little bit of a flashback, you know, of how things were with Madara before. And, you know, how, you know, he knew Madara before. And it was right around the time, uh, we got a flashback of right around the time when Madara officially, you know, separated from the first Hokage and everything. And it was kind of a war and everything. And, you know, just, you know, he starts talking about how Madara is what made him forsaken himself. And that goes back to the speech and everything that Gar made in the past, which I still love that speech just because it still made a very surprised look on all the Kage's face and everything. Especially considering how young he is and everything compared to them and everything. And... You know, you start talking about how, you know, he caused, you know, what made him forsaken himself. And ever since then, there has been three endless wars caused by nothing but hatred and just an endless cycle of hatred. And it, they end up doing so much damage and just attacking each other so much. They end up destroying and damaging all the smaller nations, you know, in between them and just doing it in a way where they seem like they just did not care what happens. And, you know, just how, you know, things have gotten better in general, you know, that the nations have finally come together for an ultimate cause. And he's just very happy to see, you know, things are finally, you know, getting much better than, you know, how things were in the past and everything. And, you know, that's when they start, you know, and this is where, you know, starts going towards, you know, where I talked about how, you know, the Kagis are going to come together and attack. And, you know, knowing Lady Sonata, she was being a little bit stubborn and, you know, she was telling the chick, you know, that did the transportation jutsu, like, hey, transport me there. And then she's like, well, that only works on items. And then she said, you know, I've tried to do it on people before, but it usually ends with people getting their bodies torn up in pieces. And immediately when I heard that, I was like, hold on, this is not the part in the manga, sorry for the spoilers, this is not the part in the manga where, you know, Lady Tsunade gets her body torn into pieces. It's like, hold on, this is not when it happens. And then I started things progressing and I saw how things happened. I was like, okay, it was just some words that happen just just sound very sim uh, similar and just triggered something in my mind and she said there were only what was one time when you know someone didn't die from it and that was the older Raikage and everything and he barely survived it and you know she asked Raikage you know can you talk some sense to Lady Sonati over here and then he was like make a transportation for two <laughs> so he ended up going with her and she ended up getting some sort of a marking on her or an item or something and the Mizukage, on the other hand, she's in another battlefield and everything, and she ended up getting a message, you know, sent to her and everything of what's going on and everything. And they try to send her there, and one thing, this is one of the things I was really surprised to see and did not expect, is the way they end up sending her there was through the same kind of technique as the fourth Hokage, you know, Minato. And it was through the same kind of transportation technique. And we learned that there's three people within the Leaf Village that learn the same technique. The main drawback is that it takes all three of them just to be able to do it. So they end up transporting her there as soon as the, you know, the other Kages end up getting there. And they end up getting there right at the last second, right before Madara and the other guy end up going, you know, trying to attack Naruto and them just, you know, up front and, you know, up close and everything. And they show up right at the last second, kick them far away and everything, send them flying. And then that's when they show them up. And, you know, it was really cool to see that. And, you know, the, uh, what Lady Sonata ended up doing right away was to treat uh, Gara and the old man because they were really, really worn out and everything. And everything. So she tried to heal him. And, you know, Naruto was like, why are you doing that? You know, your marking is going to disappear. You get old and wrinkly and get weak again, just like before. And then she's like, this time it's different because, you know, unlike, you know, it's going to be different than the pain battle because this time I only healed myself 
and I have a lot more chakra left over. Naruto's like, hey, if you have that much chakra left over, go ahead and, you know, heal me. And, you know, I don't want to be, you know, just a useless clone. You know, I still have some fighting in me. You know, I don't want to be useless. And then she's like, no. And the reason was because the old man said that this is no longer your, a fight just to protect you. And then that's when, you know, the Mizukage and the Rakage start going after Madara to protect Lady Sonai so she can at least heal the other two and everything. And they end up attacking him. And, and the first thing that happened was, you know, the Mizukage started doing a lava type technique, but it looked like it was seriously just like some slimy looking stuff. And Madara was just running as fast as he could to get away from it. And one thing you got to know about Madara is that just his movements and everything is just very just... He, he, he just, he does a great job of just dodging pretty much anything. And, you know, he looked at it and he was like, that stuff isn't even worth absorbing. You know, since he got to the Rene, Rene gone and everything. And, and anyways, the Rock Hugs start going after him. And he ended up starting, you know, attacking him. And he ended up, you know, bringing off the Susano and everything. You know, when he had the Rene gone in the other eye, I guess he could use it even though he only has one eye. Pretty cool. And... You end up bringing it out, and then the Raikage was like, okay, I'll just use the same technique that I used on Sasuke when he brought it out. And it ended up not quite working as well, and it looked like, you know, the chick started using, putting the slime or the lava all over him, and it looked like it was on top of the Raikage. But then we saw the Raikage, you know, and with his fast speed, he immediately got out of there, and he was just right there, you know, he retreated, you know, to protect, you know, Lady Sonata and everything. And, you know, he asked your, asked Lady Sonati, are you done healing them? And she said, just about done. And that's when things started, you know, getting a little bit crazy. And Madara, of course, he just broke loose of that thing and everything. And they were strong enough to, you know, uh, the old man and Gar were finally strong enough to be able to actually do something. And right as Madara was about to attack him and everything, they do, right at the last second, they do something to defend everyone. And they end up actually doing this, and I really like this, was when the old man started doing a, like a mud style or a stone style jutsu that gave him just a big line of protection and everything. And Gara put some sand over it too, so it ended up being two lines of defense, which was really, really great to see. So he ended up working together and helping protect everybody, and it was really cool to see that. And as things started going, that's when the guys started all coming together to finally try to attack Madara. And Gara ended up using the like pyramid-like attack, which I was actually surprised just because of the simple fact that when he tried to do it before, it barely, you know, it was really hard for him just to be able to try to make it work before, and it was on a much weaker opponent or, you know, person he was fighting. But, you know, he attempted to use Amadara, it didn't work and everything. And one thing that was really cool is, you know, the Raikage was like, hey, um, you know, I still can't quite catch up, you know, to Madara. And this is one of those things I noted in the past was the technique that the uh, the old man can use that to lighten things can't even though it may seem like a simple thing it can be useful in so many different ways it's like a unique just a very creative jutsu and everything so what he tries to do he uses it on the Raikage so then it can make him so much faster and one thing I probably forgot to mention is that earlier in this episode, one thing I was really happy to see is that there was a bunch of weaker shinobi along the side, and they actually came in and decided to actually be useful by attacking the other guy, you know, not Madara, but the other guy, to make themselves useful because that guy's a lot weaker, and within, you know, you know, strength-wise, you know, a lot closer to what they are and everything. So I was very happy to see that, just seeing that they could actually be useful and everything. And, you know, right now it looks like, you know, you know, the old man is trying to make, you know, the the Raikage a lot faster so then he could just go at a lightning speed and be even faster which is just ridiculous he was already fast before which brings me to think hmm I wonder how fast he can make Naruto you know I, I, I maybe we'll see that in the future I really can't wait but he ends up doing that and Kabuto remembers hold on when he does that it makes him you know even though it makes him lighter and a lot faster it makes him weaker and you know even and he ended up actually going after not Madara right away but the Raikage went after the other guy, and he ended up just sending him miles away, and it's like, yeah. Even though, the you know, it makes him lighter and weaker, the Raikage, you know, still packs a freaking punch. He really does, because he's really strong. And he sends him flying and everything, and the old man and Raikage start going after Madara, and they end up using this unique juice, I don't know what it was, but it looked like a beam, or like his fist technique, kind of, and it just sending through him, just like a beam or something, and it went through it, destroyed this uh, Susano, and just destroyed the, pe and it broke it up in pieces and everything, and it went through Madara, and I was just, I was very happy to see that, I was very cool, just see something that they actually, you know, get through him and everything, and just seeing that and everything, 
And the main reason I liked it was just be seeing that they actually used their techniques together in a very unique way, just like, you know, the old man and Gara did. So that was very, very cool. And at some point in the episode, the old man started going on a speech and everything and started talking about how ever since this war started, at the very beginning, you know, the only reason he, he was there was because he had to, or at least he felt like he had to be there and just, you know, he really didn't care so much. And how over time, you know, he started, you know, feeling differently and looking at things differently and he sees a much greater possibility of peace and everything and he, and he's really happy with, you know, how, how everybody is doing and how everyone has came together and how this is a much bigger step in the right direction of peace out of all the things they tried to attempt to in the before and he started talking about how the other kages all the kages and all the nations have done bad things in the past and they've all have ultimately done damage what they thought was you know best for the nation or best for the shinobi world ended up doing nothing but causing chaos and damage to someone in some way and he started talking about how, you know, this is, you know, going to be their fighting chance. And this is their ultimate chance to set things right. And this is why they are, you know, they want to be the ones to fight Madar instead of it being Naruto and everything. And this is their ultimate way to just try to make up for everything that they've done. And they finally actually know that this is actually what needs to be done. And he ended up, all the Kages end up talking to Naruto, you know, since he was about to disappear and everything. And sending a message to him and it kind of it was kind of weird because just because I saw you know their mouths moving and I didn't see any hear any words coming out and I was like what and then you know then we actually you know heard something and it was like we will win and as Naruto disappeared that's when he went back to the original Naruto with Killer B and everything and he got the message and everything and that's you know when he said we'll win and and it looks like, this is one thing I liked about the ending, is that, you know, Killer B and Naruto, they're finally catching up to Obito or Tobi, as people still may know him, and everything. And they finally, you know, just clash together, and Naruto just hit his head against, you know, Obito and everything. And that was a great way to end. And, you know, just seeing that was really great to see. And seeing all the teamwork in this episode was really great to see. And all, the, you know, the jutsus and everything they used together. And one thing, there was a few things I was still surprised to see. The part with, you know, that, you know, there's people in the Leaf Village that actually got to learn the jutsu from the fourth Hokage, Hokage you know, Minato. You know, how to, you know, transport and everything. And just, you know, seeing, you know, something like that happen, which I didn't, I didn't think it was quite necessary, but it was still quite a surprise. And just all the teamwork and everything, you know, Gara and the old man creating that ultimate line of defense. The old man and the Ra Razikage and everything, or the Raikage, you know, using their attacks and everything to ultimately attack Madara and potentially take out the guy that summoned him and everything. And, you know, seeing as they, they've learned a lot throughout this war and they realize a lot of things. And this is going to be the ultimate chance to really, you know, try to make up for a lot of things. And just seeing all the Kage Kages actually finally coming together. There was a certain part where it just showed all of them together. That was a really cool moment and everything. And I'm going to give this episode a, a 4 point, you know, 4.8 out of 5, okay? 4.8. You know, there was a lot of stuff that happened. The pacing wasn't really bad. And the animation was acceptable. And the, you know, just seeing how things ended and the timing. There were some character development moments. And just seeing that those weak guys on the side, you know, they went ahead and tried to go attack the other guy and make themselves useful, which is really great to see. And everything, and the teamwork, and just a lot of great stuff happened in this episode. And seeing things just getting warmed up, and seeing a positive side, especially after seeing the last episode. I honestly think that the uh, episode uh, 322 and this one are going to be some very, very memorable you know, episodes, you know, throughout, you know, this season at least, and everything, so it was a great episode overall, a lot of stuff happened, and there was a lot of great qualities and things of this episode, there really was, and I really can't wait to see the next ep episode, it's not like more like an impatient grudge, like, oh, I really don't want to wait till the next episode, it's more like, I'm excited, you know, and it's actually, you know, left me with a positive feeling at the end of this episode, so it was really great to see that, and I'm, you know, I really like it when episodes end in a good way like that, instead of just, like, you know, on a cliffhanger too much, and, and you know, we get that sometimes, but, you know, it ended in a really great way. So that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks again, guys, for watching, and hopefully I'll get, you know, caught up again on Attack on Titan pretty soon and everything, but thank you guys for just being so awesome and so patient. So that's pretty much it for today, guys, and I will see you guys in the next video.